This is Drosur filiformis Florida All Red, and it's my favorite form of Drosur filiformis because it has a very weak dormancy requirement in comparison to the other forms of Drosur filiformis. This form is also able to develop some really nice red coloration if you give it uh, bright enough light intensity. When it's full size and in active growth, the leaves approach 5 inches, in uh, my conditions at least, and this plant is currently going dormant since my t the temperatures in my house under the lights are about 73 degrees during the day now. So the growth is kind of shrinking and the leaves are approaching three inches or less at the moment. Eventually it'll form a green hibernacula uh, which will uh, last during the cooler months and growth will start to resume in the spring when the temperatures warm up above that 75 degree mark. Um, I've, In my experience the dormancy is very easy with this species because I've been able to leave it just in this pot on the tray method with the rest of my plants and I haven't had to reduce watering at all. I can, I've been able to give um, my other plants here plenty of water at, and not having to worry about rotting with the hibernacula. Other species um, have been noted to rot more easily than others and this is definitely one of the more tolerant species for rot and I've been very impressed with this. I haven't had to chill it at all in the refrigerator. Some species like you know, even um, you know with Venus flytraps or Saracenia you need to give them a cold dormancy in the refrigerator but for some reason this species has no problem at all just staying out in you know 65 70 degree temperatures during the day and it it flowers very vigorously in the spring with quite robust flower stalks and growth ha just increases quite um, dramatically in the spring so I know that the temperature is definitely um, no problem at all for this species uh, during the winter months and that uh, you can just leave this out with all the rest of your sundews if you're growing on the tray method. You can see that during dormancy the leaves will sort of tend to develop a black coloration on the tips and eventually the leaves will kind of die back. Um, it won't, it's not too quick of a process but I usually try to f give it a nice feeding uh, before it completely goes dormant just to give it a nice little boost for the next year and encourage flowering. The flowers are self-fertile and I was able to spread around quite a bit of seed last spring so hopefully I'll get another nice harvest if you will this year. And I've been growing this in a four inch tall pot. This plant is actually four years old but technically it's only three because I originally didn't realize this plant needs to be fed um, when you're growing it from seed or else it really does not grow at all. Once it reaches maturity though, at about a year and a half or two years old if you consistently feed it, uh, the growth will remain at about five inches or around four and a half or five inches without additional feeding, which is pretty nice. So it's just getting over that hump for the first year or so before you can get this plant to full size. I've been also able to propagate this plant very easily with leaf cuttings and they're, they regenerate tons of plants along their leaves. I recommend doing this in the summer months so that the plantlets won't go dormant in the, spring, in the winter months because they will tend to die if you let them go into dormancy. But here you can see that I've taken a few leaf cuttings and they're recently fed so I want these guys to size up um, pretty, quick, pretty quickly here. But if you feed them they do grow quite rapidly and I haven't had any issues with these guys as long as um, you give them a, a, a nice media, like a wet, moist medium, and you feed them regularly. So, but like I said, if you don't feed them, you can pretty much expect them to <clears throat> either die off or not grow at all, which is a bit of a bummer, but um, it, it, feeding isn't that hard at all. You just need a little dedication to it every so, you know, every two or three weeks, just either let them catch food on their own outdoors or you can just sprinkle a little bit of crushed um, beta bite fish pellets on their uh, leaves and just make sure that they're getting there enough food. So I've also been able to propagate these with root cuttings but I usually don't like to unpot these guys since they're pretty big plants and I don't like to disturb their growth too much. <clears throat> so I hope you get a pretty good idea of the species. This is Drosera filiformis, Florida All Red.